Hello, and good morning. So, welcome to this whole speed runny type dealie. Uh, so yeah, um, long story short, was recently, uh, was recently asked if I wanted to try to do some optimizing for the speed run, just on account of maybe mixing in some weird crap that came up from a bunch of challenge runs and things, which, uh, yeah, found some stuff that might help, so, uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, okay. So let's uh, let's go to this menu real quick because I just want to go over the explanation real quick while some folks show up. Um, the oh hello there Bale good morning. Nice to see you here. But yeah, so the long and short of it is uh, the current world record speed run for this uh, consists of um, uh, it consists of largely using a regular uh, regular team up until you get the Snapdragon. The main difference with this team is that we're essentially turning Lands into a freaking super beast and just having him solo everything. <laughs> <laughs> until we get to, until we get to that point. Now, the implications early on there are like early on he can just run around one-shotting things, and then later on in the game uh, he actually can just one-shot entire maps. So um, I'm going to be using a couple of things from the current world record strategy there. Um, his name escapes me at the moment, and I apologize if somebody can post that. Dang it! I just I just made it a point to try and remember that dang name. Uh, hang on, I think it might be right here. Because there is a, I have a, his notes up, and I don't believe he actually put the name on here. Dang it. Oh well. Um, you'll get credited in the uh, in the description. So, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and get this thing started. So first things first. New game. Now the uh, the questions have been. Uh, thank you. Nope, nope, nope. Restart actually. Quick restart, because apparently my controls aren't doing what I want them to do. Hang on, controls... Uh, where are you here? Uh, hang on. You need to be two, you need to be one. There we go. There we go. Why that turns the volume up super high? Anyone's guess. Anyway, there we go. Reset. We uh, didn't get the clock going anyway, so that's perfectly fine, I suppose. All right. Thing. Here it is. Alright. So, let's try this again. New game. Um, controls? Please? What the, what the hell is going on here? Sorry. This is a complete chuckle bucket of a start, as per usual, because everything always has to break. You know. That's how that works. All right. So first of all, why is this not working right? So yeah, two is one, one is two. That's all I switched. Why is the other stuff switched? So yeah, that's not start. That is start for some reason. Just load a random save here. Okay, so A and B seem to be working right. Start isn't. Apparently start is over on square for some reason. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Uh, by the way, Mr. Vale, uh, how's the sound doing? Uh, if you could let me know. So let's see, X and Y. I believe X is then 7. So you should be 7, you should be 4. Is that the case? Mm. See, so sound could go up and the game sound could go down. Maybe double your sound. Okay, will do. Uh, how's that sounding? Alrighty, sounds good. Let's, see, let's change you to. Oh boy, what did I just do to these controls here? Um, no, wait, you're not five. You are seven or something. I think you're seven. There we go. Let's see if that does it.
Do I just not have a start button now? Apparently not. The uh, the wonders of no of uh, friggin' no cash here, by the way. <laughs> it's like let's make all the stuff not make any sense. Uh, let's see, enabled by button. There we go. There we go. I figured it out. I did a brain. There we go. That one is seven. This one is two. That one is one. Uh, select should be this one. There we go. Start should be this one. And I think we're finally good to go. So let's go ahead and reset this thing. Hi there, Cerebo. How's it going? It is indeed. How about that? Alright, so hopefully we're good on the audio now. And let's try this again now that my uh, buttons actually work. <laughs> False start, number three. Okay, three, two, one. Let's do this thing. So you want to go Alphonse and his starting thing right off the bat. The main reason being not actually because it's any any faster, but because of uh, what seems to be the RNG at the very start. Uh, so starting questions are mostly set up here for the purposes of... Uh, Reminding me which ones need to be uh, need to be picked, because I'm always going to select everything wrong except for longevity, because that one I will always remember is the one that gives you the freaking super punch. There, uh, there's an alternate idea here, by the way, um, that might take a couple extra minutes, uh, but might be worthwhile to actually pick up uh, the miracle emblem right from the very start, uh, which would uh, basically of of your starting emblems, uh, it seems like the punch is just the strongest, since it's basically the only weapon you need up until you get a uh, Snapdragon. Um, but the thing is... Hang on, swear we show. Uh, press. Or wait, what? Victory! There we go. Already, already screwing up right on the very first questions. Fantastic. That's, uh, that's the kind of quality you expect here. Alright, leader asks, would you like to see some terror? Yes, please. Apparently. Getting those menus all wrong. Anywho, Fist Punch, really, really handy, but you can also potentially get that in a training fight. But a Miracle is much harder to get. And then let's get Glory. And then what this starts us off with, since we now have really long cutscenes to sit through, uh, starts us off with uh, with a Punch, uh, starts us off with two Healing Seeds, and starts us off with a Ninja in the team. Uh, that's specifically what I need there. So it, it's a weird set of circumstances that happens with all those. So... There are exactly two healing seeds needed uh, to get him really overpowered. Uh, you can't get uh, those seeds until way later in the game. There are... Let's see here. Um, y you start off with 10 extra strength and agility, which puts you that much closer to Swordmaster. Um, on top of that, you... Um... Hang on. Sorry, there was, a, there was a quick note I wanted to mention, but it turned out to be a little bit irrelevant. Thanks, Brain. Anyway, so from the very start, uh, we're just going to try to manipulate the RNG, uh, not the RNG, but manipulate the AI a little bit to go to very specific places to try and speed up the first couple of fights. And then from there, it'll actually start getting way slower than the, uh, than the actual World of Record run. Uh, the reason being, I want to pick up Blood Rain several battles earlier than they do. Um, and that one, they actually start uh, working on getting Deneb by uh, Vermido, which I'll be doing as well. Um, so yeah, the Secret Shop and Orbs are used for this thing. Um, the like Really, the main deviation here is just the fact that uh, I'm starting off with um, uh, with Fist Emblem and starting off with uh, trying to build strength and agility way higher than they do. Um, so I'm actually going to be uh, not using the Ninja for a couple fights because I just want him to just sit there and punch down everything. Just sit there. Like, most of the enemies will just run up and attack him. So up until the first animal fight, we really don't need to be switching out, switch him over to Ninja, which gives him a couple extra points for strength and agility. Mostly just strength, actually. Uh, so yeah, um, ideally we'll be getting him tonight by Formido, but it's it's not necessarily likely. It, it A few things can, can vary here. Um, there's one reset point uh, that happens right, uh, right in the second fight, uh, right after all these uh, all these things here. Because as soon as you get hit to the Archer Hill, uh, you need to be able to 
uh, kill off every enemy with lands. Uh, if Ivana does not get swarmed, like the, the idea is literally to just go and get her overwhelmed by a bunch of units so that she just sits there and constantly heals the entire time in order to make sure that he can get every kill on the map, which gets him Centurion. So his normal strength by this point is like 35. With this, uh, he gets an, uh, a, an extra plus 10 from the starting questions. He gets an extra 20 from Centurion. Uh, he gets um, uh, the Fist Weapon, which is about equivalent in power to a Claymore for some reason. So he's already starting off with an endgame weapon. And on top of that, he'll be getting a few other things as well. Uh, hopefully getting self-preservation over the course of these first couple fights, uh, which will boost counterattack damage, which will essentially allow him to fight bosses without ever directly engaging them. So that's always fun. So we'll just mash through some dialogue and then get to some menus. And then we get attacked, as you do. So the first thing we're going to do here is go shut off basically everything as far as the menus go. <laughs> now, if all goes well, he should get kills on the first two bo uh, first two boss characters here. Uh, so this, uh, if all goes well, Stan should be able uh, to to be left with like 20 health right in front of him, so you can just go uh, give him a little bit of a stab in the back, and we're good to go. Uh, from there, if you move, if you in the second map, there's a way to kind of manipulate the uh, caster lady so that she ends up going towards the middle of the map. She ends up running forward to try and attack Ivana for some bizarre reason, uh, which then also leaves her nice and wide, uh, widely exposed there to uh, to take a hit. Now, I don't know why that specific stuff happens, but oh well. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Uh, go for the tower shield here, just to boost him forward a little bit. Um, this is mostly for safety there, because depending on where Stan decides to move, uh, sometimes he won't uh, run up and lightning bow him, uh, which is what I want him to be doing. And I forgot to turn off the menus, because I'm an idiot. Right, where's my dang interrupt? No, it shouldn't be... Should, we're probably going to lose a few seconds to those experience pop-ups, but it's okay. One round of pop-ups isn't too bad. Like, honestly, there's going to still be uh, improvements after this. This is mostly mostly like a full test run. I've tested all the individual little bits, which all seem to work out pretty darn well. I should probably mention another deviation from the world record route is the fact that I'm using uh, dual snapdragons on lands rather than just one of them. Uh, so what essentially... Despite diminishing returns, this creates a situation where he can essentially overcome the, uh, the intelligence loss that he takes over the course of the game. Um, eventually, well, actually, come to think of it, what am I saying? No, they scale off of melee attacks, so no. Uh, he can basically one-shot entire maps with orbs. Now, the, the single Snapdragon route can do that, uh, but then there are certain maps where you, where you didn't exactly have that option. So if you didn't know if you put two Snapdragons on, I don't know whether this was an oversight or what, uh, but you can just have a situation where, yeah, they, they all stack. He is the equivalent of three characters at that point. Uh, not to mention he was already a, about twice as good as anybody else. Uh, looks like we got a bit of a difference in, a, in uh, AI choices here. Usually he goes for the guy on the right. So what we're going to do here is uh, put Alphonse this way. Uh, this should cause the the soldier guys will typically attack their uh, their other units. Wow, that's not good. That is not good at all, actually. FFT RNG, yeah. I mean, to be fair, while testing this yesterday, I kid you not, I missed an 89 and a 99 percent in a row. So you never know. Like this game is typically way nicer on the RNG, but man, I was kind of annoyed by that. Not gonna lie. So I should point out, this initial setup, the idea is to get him to level 4 by Fermito um, with a specific set of emblems in order to make sure that he can... He's within damage range to one-shot a healer in that map. And if, if he's able to do so, it basically saves you a couple turns in order to be able to clear out that entire map. Um, so you want to try to get him as many uh, kills as possible early on, even when the, um, the actual victory condition doesn't call for it. 
Uh, just because getting Blood Rain earlier will allow him to, uh, well, to go take care of a lot of things earlier on. Uh, the uh, the monster map is required as far as um, as far as taking out everything uh, for Mido is not. But the thing is, with Grimal, it's going to take him a minute. It's going to take him a minute to punch him down anyway, so might as well get a couple free kills uh, during that whole process. There we go. So RNG went a little bit weird this time, but hopefully we should be good for this. And no, somehow he did not take his full damage. So. Hopefully he'll uh, he'll decide to attack lands here, because uh, we want the kill XP from him and from the caster. And I forgot to turn off the menus again. Wow, doing fantastic, doing absolutely amazing. So we're just so you know, it's going to be a very slow start for this one. And I don't know why my interrupt key isn't working, because it, it it really should be. I know there's an interrupt. <laughs> okay, there we go. Doesn't matter. Fight's done anyway. Or not? Huh. Okay. Yeah, this is taking longer than it should. Especially since the guy should have been dead uh, last time. We shouldn't have been getting these ability pop-ups. I'm almost ready to say it's worth a reset, but let's just keep going for now. That's a little bit frustrating. Uh, typically, yes. Yeah, Stan winds up with about 20 health right next to lands. Whether that's intentional or not, I don't know, but still, it, yesterday I tested it four different times. It worked every single time. So I don't know why that is. Uh, we still should be able to get the kill XP, though. Yeah, that's his last unit. So we need to go to the system here, make sure all this stuff is turned off. Nope. Bad movement. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop screwing everything up. It's almost like I'm bad at speedrunning or something. On the plus side, there's definitely some time to improve on that menu, uh, menu right there. Alright, so now we get a, a bunch of stuff. I really think the music in this game is underrated. Like, it's funny because my first impression playing through it was that I didn't like it. Later on, it's just, it grew on me and grew on me, and honestly, it's pretty darn decent. So I should point out now, because I'm sure somebody will be a stickler for this down the line, there will be pauses during the speedrun. It's not like I'm running off and taking a break and doing whatever else. It's because I have two kids, so kids need to eat and all that kind of business. So, just so you know. I mean, it's Saturday, so they're going to be playing for the most part, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So, luckily, the, the main challenges of this run are pretty early on. Uh, most of everything, like, you wind up pretty friggin' overpowered. This this one snowballs really, really hard, thankfully. So there, it isn't like something like you get all the way up to the last boss, and then there's some 2% chance to succeed trick that you have to do. Uh, instead, it's all pretty early on. Like, the, the first fight there, as you saw, Stan generally will be pretty compliant with what you want him to do, but sometimes you will get that extra round there, as you saw. I could have done the menuing earlier. Um... Uh, second fight that's coming up here, sometimes she just can be a bit of a troll and decide to go hang out in the back of the buildings. Uh, probably the most annoying one is when uh, when she decides to go hang out in the water, but that's pretty unlikely. Uh, those, are the, those are usually the cases where Richter decides, you know what, I'm just going to sit here healing forever. You know, we could finish the fight like three rounds ago, but hey, whatever. You know, over there, they've got two missing health. I might as well go fix that. Uh, it happens sometimes. It's not that often. Typically, Richter's pretty useful, but I've seen times where he's just a complete moron. But who uh, well. It's actually a little bit funny that the AI in this game is better than the PSP remake. That's not even a shots fired kind of thing. It's just an objective fact. And it's mostly because they did everything simpler. Alright, so we get some nice sad backstory here, as you do. Alright, and away we go. 
the funny part is, this run also incorporates a fairy, which uh, didn't happen on the other run. This is actually what allows uh, allows him to solo everything, is that sacrifice fairy. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oh, no, 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 wrong option, wrong option, wrong option, okay. Lost a couple seconds there, but that's fine. You're supposed to select no on the elements. Now, here's the thing that you do. If you move here, Ivana will move up as well. If you move right here, they will all just kind of run towards you. Now, we can't tell just yet if I got all the questions right. I sure hope I did. Otherwise, we might be resetting. Uh, weirdly enough, I think sometimes the questions can potentially give the wrong value. Like yesterday, one of the times that I was um, that I was testing everything, I'm pretty sure I hit all the buttons right, and yet I still wound up with the wrong startup. So, not really sure. But we'll see. So she did not run forward, unfortunately. That's kind of annoying. And also, by the way, if you're wondering why I got fistfight, but also never bothered to go unequip his sword, it's because I can't. Uh, you can't actually do that just yet. So I'm going to put him right here. Hopefully those two will charge forward. Like, she likes to stay in the middle between her three guys. What you want is you want those two to charge forward. Um, he'll get counterattacks off on them. Ivana will get back attacks off on them. And that's not good. Come on. Be nice, RNG. It's uh, about 50 to 60% odds, depending on what kind of stats they roll uh, for him to hit. Uh, typically for 20 to 30 damage. I think we may have gotten in the wrong question range, though, given given how little damage he was doing, but we'll see. Because he should be able to do up to 32 right now. Wow. Wow, that never happens. She's like three levels higher than him, and with a better weapon. I mean, that was... I believe that was like a 90% miss. <sighs> wow. Okay. That sucks, but moving on. Let me double check here. Uh, yeah, we did get the 40. So 40 is the ideal starting strength here. I'm just going to go ahead and attack this guy, because I want to try and be in position to intercept that lady. Yeah, there we go. That is... It's multiple misses in a row. That's not good. He'll catch up experience-wise, but it may be a little bit more difficult. Bear in mind, he does have to solo two maps after this, pretty much. So, I would, like, any levels, any experience, anything that can be gotten in these early sections is ideal, and especially self-preservation. If he can get that, that's the very best. If those first two hits land, typically he'll go attack, he'll get counterattack. um... A counterattack to death afterwards. So, you know, it it could be could be better right now. Definitely could be a lot better right now. Uh, another thing is if you manage to get everything correct, uh, you can actually get him behind that building, which means that she won't actually use any of her spells on him, and you can skip that that uh, uh, text box uh, because Ivana will only say that if he's the one targeted. Though I've never seen every single attack miss. <laughs> this is, like, terabad right now. <laughs> um, the best that I've gotten is, like, 19 minutes uh, for actually getting through all this. So we're definitely not on track for that. 21 was about the average. The worst I've seen was about 30. But that's where everything went wrong. And even then, everything... Wow! Orson doesn't miss? Dude, what the hell is going on? That RNG, though! Okay, there we go. At least we got his level 2. That's fine. Now, if he gets 2 from a regular attack, should get a bit more experience from just regular fighting here, and then he should be able to finish her off, hopefully to get up to 3, uh, which will allow him to get up to 4 or 5 in the archer fight, uh, which will then allow him to get up to 7 or 8 uh, once he gets to Formido. It's mostly just because he's going and soloing so many things, plus he gets a free level up off of Mark of the Elite. Um, so it, it just basically means that he's going to be running a bit of an advantage for a while. And ultimately what you want to do is stack a bunch of different advantages, so... I didn't actually see to what degree they ended up using the morale penalties and bonuses and stuff like that. But ideally you want Blood Rain in order to make sure that everything around you is constantly terrified, so that gives them a negative 10% to all their stats. Um, or something along those lines. 
On top of that, uh, once Eleanor joins the party, she's going to be a Valkyrie, uh, which will give him a, um, a plus one to morale. So that's already putting him about 20% above everybody else, on top of the fact that he's already got like double the strength that he should have at that point, plus at that point, like after that. Um, we'll be making both a giant and... I'm going to think about why the hell do I have Lobelia routed into this? I just need to get two giants. Ah, whatever. I'll just use Lobelia. Uh, she's mostly there because she's got really good stats and she's easy to get, so, you know. And, of course, we got the troll on uh, Mullen, so we're probably going to have to take three rounds to actually beat her at this point. This is hands down the worst start I've ever seen. Again, tested this four times yesterday. I've been testing it for the last few days. Like, this, this seemed solid. Yeah, wow. <laughs> we're almost at 20 minutes and we're not even out of this fight yet. Uh, I'm seriously considering a reset here. Mm -hmm. I need Orson to go north and give her a shot in the side. That will allow this, this fight to end. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Now, if you're wondering, uh, there's going to be a safety save coming up after um, after re-equipping and stuff like that. Because I need to get a ferry. And the thing is, the, it, in most cases, if you went with Alphonse and the starting birthday, you typically the way it seems to work is that it's just immediately on the left. If you went with a letter like A, it seemed to consistently be that you have to go back and forth and go to, um, go to, uh, oh, come on, Orson. What are you doing? You have to be attacking her. All right, come on, get the kill. There we go. Must have gotten a good tile lineup. All right, so we got the experience. That's good. Got the Thunder Flare. We didn't get the other items, which sucks because they can drop some decent items. Oh well. Now we mash through this. Interestingly enough, I found... Um, I don't know if they actually did this in the other one, but if you just alternate the two buttons, uh, this actually worked for Pokemon as well, but you can skip through stuff a lot faster. It seems to work for a lot of GBA games for some reason. Just alternate your inputs. Alright. Stock's done. Okay, looks like we got the right stuff. What am I doing? There we go, remove that. Safety save. Uh, da, 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 whatever, get rid of this one. Sure. Come on, have fairies. No. Alright, so if this happens, you need to go back and forth through Lutra. And that'll get you the fairy. So I specifically want a wind element fairy. Sure. Apparently the fairy's name is Francis. If you say so. Now we're gonna want a few, um, a few leaves here, and a bandana. I know I could have done these in a better order. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna leave them as that for now. There goes Cabellum. Go Vespa. So in order to pick up Mark of the Elite and Centurion here, uh, we're going to need a couple different things. There's there's three goals here. First of all, we've got to go pick up the pumpkin. Da, 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 da. So we can go ahead and start it like that. Now the idea is you go to the right, and you start picking off the units that can't counterattack too well. Uh, the ones that do counterattack, you want to give them a position where you can block them effectively while also getting counterattacks on them. 
Uh, if you would be able to punch while using a shield that's equipped, uh, this would be a lot better. Uh, generally speaking, you want to take most encounters on tiles that will give you an advantage, and we want to specifically pick up that pumpkin because it allows for Mido to be possible. Uh, specifically, if you lead him as a soldier, if you give him these specific emblems, and then you give him that glass pumpkin, he essentially creates a weird situation, because he, if you keep that crappy armor on him, it seems like the AI specifically wants to go for him. I don't I don't know why, but the AI will always aggro towards him, with exception for, like, two attacks. So, you basically team him up with a ninja, and then... Oh, I guess I already did all of this, didn't I? Uh, anyway. Like, it, it gets weird. Like, it gets really, really weird. Um, also, I probably shouldn't have had War God there. That's supposed to be some... Uh, whatever. We're gonna get War God, though. Uh, War God is actually in the next one. So we're actually going to be going for self-preservation here, ideally. So, okay, let's go here. And now you want to separate yourself as much as possible from Ivana, so you, what you want to do is go here and go around this tree. A lot of these areas will give negatives to earth elements, so brown tiles are ideal and or just non-grassy tiles. Uh, this gives them a little bit of a damage bonus. It's a weird, weird thing to be thinking about during this, but it's it's one of the things that allows him to pick up uh, pick up War God earlier. So War God's what you get for doing 200 plus damage, and uh, yeah, that gives you a bit of a strength boost uh, at the cost of in I believe it was at the cost of intelligence. Uh, but the idea is, and that's actually why we picked up that fairy. They've got basically no defense, not to mention they'd, they'd be wearing no armor. Um. With his damage being as high as it is, which I guess technically you haven't seen yet, but you'll see. Uh, this will put him in a position where if he gets a good tile and she gets a bad tile, he can do 211 damage. Um, then from there, that'll boost his strength to the point that he can do about 70 to 80 on most units and about 40 on bosses. Uh, this will then improve further uh, into the point where he's basically just one-shotting bosses pretty quickly. But the idea is that you leave him as tanky classes for the first couple fights, and then once you pick up Blood Rain, like, he, he's basically already giving massive stat debuffs to everything around him automatically. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be there. Let's go for this guy. Yeah, he's already doing 70s. And that was unnecessary, sir. What part of 40% do you not understand? I was rolling 40% just fine earlier. <laughs> but yeah, the art, the um, the start is very RNG heavy, and ideally you want to try to position lands over to the right there, uh, kind of against the wall, so that he's able to counterattack more effectively. But this first map, he does start off with penalties uh, to uh, to his attacks on most of the tiles. So that's that's the funny part. Technically speaking, you can get a bunch of bonuses here, but, you know, we'll need those later. Specifically, the Earth Element gets a bunch of bonuses when it comes to uh, it comes to a lot of castle tiles and things, so we'll, uh, we'll be making use of that later. It probably won't matter very much, but it is it is what it is. Alright, please miss. Oh, come on. What do you have against me today, RNG? Punk. All right, so this is where one of those healing seeds comes in, because more often than not, you are going to take a bunch of hits before any kind of uh, kills start coming in. Um, you want to try and let her take care of most of the fighting over there on the right. She does seem to prioritize uh, healing lands over herself, which is pretty handy. Uh, but yeah, you can. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to do this one. But for the sake of safety, we're just going to do this. Until it gets level three, anyway. So we're just gonna go regular healing seat or healing leaf, and then just set him up to take counters. Uh, if you position yourself like this, you can just kind of maximize your counter attack damage. Because uh, as soon as he gets self preservation, then we're on to business. So self preservation will boost uh, counter attack damage by twenty five percent. Uh, which, uh, considering that he'll be using that to put out a lot of damage over the course of the run and get a lot of his kills, that means that. It's very, very handy to have. Pretty much necessary. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this is seriously the worst RNG I've seen. 
is kind of legitimately impressive, because we should already be done with this fight, and we're barely starting it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And let me guess, miss? Oh no, look, he finally figured out how to hit something. Alright, got the level up. <laughs> Another thing that we want to make sure to pick up at some point, it just kind of automatically happens, is Book of Initiation. Uh, it's essentially your uh, Swordmaster unlock. All you really need to do is dodge three attacks in a row, which, given how fast his agility will be going up later, not exactly a concern. But, uh, but yeah, the, the class route will be a little bit different from the, uh, the current speed route as well. And in case you're wondering, yeah, you can't just run up and two-shot the leader at any point here. Or basically just farming kills. Alright, I'm going to do a risky thing here, which might potentially cause a reset. Which I'd be okay with, because this run has been absolute garbage so far. And essentially what I was hoping for there was a crit. He might take a bunch of hits here, but I'm essentially doing it riskily for the purposes of trying to make this go a little bit better. If it doesn't work out, fine. That's fine. We'll just reset. Because this RNG has been nonsense. Okay, never mind. We're fine. He decided to go for her. It's actually fine if she gets knocked out. Uh, she still survives. We don't really need her for the run either. So anybody at low health, I'm just going to leave at low health. So I'm probably going to go and leave my back against that shrub to the right there. Or to the left. Should allow him to, uh, to do pretty well. And can use that healing seed. Get everything back up to scratch, hopefully. What's she gonna do? Hmm. Maybe I don't need to use it. Like, I had the seed here mostly for safety. But it would be kind of nice to have it later. Yeah, no. We're gonna use it. There we go. Just can't believe this amazing RNG. The funny part is, the first hour is really the most time-consuming of the entire thing. As weird as that sounds. So, in total, the current record is four hours. But the thing is, like, once you get to the Snapdragons, fights start lasting, like, 30 seconds. There we go. There we go. Self-preservation. Like, the by far the most annoying parts are gonna be, well, self-preservation right there, so early on, your accuracy is kind of garbage, so that that's a bit iffy. So we're going to get that, and then later on we're going to have to get um, get Vixen's Whisper, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. But, oh well. <laughs> Interestingly, she doesn't get self-preservation there. I wonder why. Actually, no, wait, this is... No, that's a reset. That's a reset. You want to update your times? Yeah. I do want to update the times, but yeah. We are... We're resetting the run. Because that right there... Is not allowed. Because <laughs> she got a kill. And that it just simply can't, allow, can't be allowed. So. Three, two, one. Yeah, like like I said, the uh, the RNG part, it's just at the start, so stuff gets a lot better later. The sacrifice. Get a fist punch. Yeah, sorry to uh, to redo the intro here. It's just without that setup, it's not gonna happen. All 
And you might be saying, what about that safety save? Basically, all of the RNG went really badly, so it, it just makes more sense to just reset it at this point. Sage asks, where would you go? Uh, victory. Terror. So, yeah, all these feel like weirdly fitting answers for somebody that's just basically going to be punching their way in a giant warpath across the entire island. Because, yeah, we should... Hmm, let's see, shape wish. Glory, there we go. Now, I should point out, we should be getting self-preservation by the first dock fight, ideally. Like, I have it... I have the uh, little time note for it a good bit later, just because that's kind of the last acceptable place for it to be. Um, so ideally we get it there. I have had one case that was extremely lucky in which I managed to pick up Centurion in that very first fight, but it's really, really inconsistent. Like, it, it's just utter randomness as to whether or not that can possibly line up. Uh, it, it essentially involves him getting two counterattack kills, taking out the uh, the one on the right just by luck. Uh, in that case, both Orson and Richter had tried to finish them off, and they just missed. And then uh, it took a little bit longer to take out the leader, but it was worth it, because it essentially meant that you could just go and run up and punch the leader in the second fight. So, or in the third fight, rather. Uh, Archer Island, or Archer Hill, as I like to call it. So that's a massive time saver if it happens, but still. The only downside is then you don't get as many kills because you got you have to get at least twenty five kills by um, uh, by the mermaids ideally, and uh, the way that this is routed, you should be getting blood rain by the time you get to the ninjas, um, as well as uh, getting vixen's whisper there. So that allows you to get get the neb. That allows you to access the secret shop, which allows you to um, uh, to basically go buy orbs. And orbs will allow you to just basically push a button and end, like, four fights. So those are handy. Uh, there's technically one you can get from the plot as well. Yeah, the bridge mode is available? It absolutely is. Yep, yeah, uh, by the way, Mr. Vale, check this out. We got... Here's what we got at this point. Except I need to redo the bridge mode to the point that it it's actually readable. But we have Hugo yelling bridges, ideally. <laughs> Except I apparently screwed up in taking out the background, and bridges is black instead of yellow. But whatever, we'll we'll fix it. We'll make it. We'll make it good. When I have time. <laughs> so there's that. It's funny. Before this, I was gonna go wake up the kiddos early just to just to make sure everybody had all their stuff going early. And I, and I just walk in there, and they're like, nah, we are not getting up. It's Saturday. Get out of here, Dad. <laughs> this is hilarious. Of course, saying that, now they start getting up. What? Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, after the tutorial fight during the uh, long cutscene, and uh, go make sure everybody's all good. See an excerpt from the Ogre Battle Saga. Like this is an excerpt, not a side story. Yeah. I I wish it would have been like this is a prologue to it all. But yeah, it, honestly, they could have done a lot more of these because the setting is really good for excerpts. Wait, boat. Yes, exactly, there's a boat. There was a boat, we're pretty much never going to see a boat again. Um, it, there's one in the outro. That's always nice. Um, unfortunately, Richter decided to move to the right, that denies us, like, 10 experience early on. Uh, if you're wondering why I was pushing him with a shield earlier, it was to A, get him into position, which, honestly, that position's just fine, but uh, both of the two leader characters essentially have uh, two levels, or actually three levels, on uh, lands, so uh, you can uh, you can get a little bit of extra experience by shield bashing them. But oh well, I guess such a thing will not happen. Instead we'll go attack this guy. Except this time we'll remember to actually shut off the menus. Do not end turn, go to this thing. I 
whatever, just go up here. And we're not getting that extra experience, but it's fine. See, that's excerpt is code for we found the word mermaid written on a napkin and it's in his office when he moved to square. <laughs> They're mermaids and they like spears and we, we think we give one of them like a laser spear and that sounds pretty awesome, guys. Alright, we are getting the everybody's guarding everything RNG right away. Fantastically horrible. <sighs> the absolute ideal is for them to be able to kill off one of the uh, little... Uh, uh, side soldier guys, and for them to... Oh, no. You didn't. <sighs> okay, so he can't snipe him with lightning bow anymore. And, okay, didn't even get the counter there, so he has taken no damage now. He's supposed to have taken, like, at least 50 damage by this point. And instead, he's going to sit back the entire fight, and... Okay, I guess he's going to go for that one now. Unsung stories being pushed back to 2020. Aw. What happened? Is it because of the art style thing? Because they want to not look like Dota now? Ideally? Let's see, boats are related to bridges. They're not amphibious enough to travel on land, but are more mobile on the water. I don't know, you ever played Lost Age, or, um, a Golden Sun to Lost Age? It's a pretty sweet land boat. And it's a sky boat. It's just, it's a, the best boat ever. Yeah, and wow, she cannot catch a break over there. What is going on? The game has decided that Stan just does not die today, apparently. Alright. We're just gonna go attack this guy for experience. And to get a little bit closer. But the ideal is that they randomly get a couple crits, uh, take out one of these random soldier guys, they drop an extra sword emblem. Usually it's just some money or something, but you never know what happens. So you like the new team, but when they said they'd have it out in 2019, I was like, yeah, that won't happen. Yeah, they were basically starting from nothing with a budget of, like, a friggin' table napkin and, what, like, just a, a happy dream? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's fine. That's not. All right, everybody, pile on Stan. We can still we can still salvage this. Come on. Oh, I forgot I got the mini wall. <laughs> but you have a table napkin with the word mermaid on it. Exactly, that's the implication. That's where they found it. And then that napkin just made the rounds, and now it's the entire budget of Unsung Story. Though that being said, uh, recently there was a thing that came out, and I need to remember to go do this. Uh, but uh, if you happen to be keeping your eyes on Phoenix Point. Uh, that game suddenly decided to go over to that whole Epic Game dealie. And, uh, yeah, they, they pretty much offered free DLC to anybody that stuck around for an entire year. Though, I don't know, development's been weird on that one. And, yeah, wow. Stan is just... Hmm, he's still in this. Well, I mean, I, we got Knight's Emblem, so he can become a knight right away. I guess that's nice. I don't know, how the hell did he get? You're supposed to get counterattack five times, he's only had three rounds. Okay, that's... I'm not even going to question it, whatever. If they didn't decide to do an insane customization art stuff and try the triangle grid, they could have hit 2019. They're doing insane customization stuff, you say? I like customization stuff, as long as it doesn't go with that absolutely, just like, fugly art style that they went with. Like, I, honestly, I don't know why they were... Why they were even looking at that? It just it just looked real iffy, you know. Everything was all off proportion and whatever. Like it really just looked like a phone game or something. By the sounds of it, that was a pretty regular opinion on that. They've almost got that guy. Honestly, you know. Hmm. If they don't put Stan into kill range at this point, taking off that guy, uh, taking out that guy at the top there might not be a bad idea. It would take a little bit longer, but it would be one kill sooner for Blood Rain. For essentially a few extra seconds of time. Hmm. Alright, yeah, no, he's in kill range. We're just going to go for that. 
Good. Didn't miss multiple 90% in a row. That's nice. And uh, with the first text box that's going to come up, I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick because it uh, looks like the, uh, the kiddos are actually starting to get up now, so I'm going to go handle all that business. Or, whoops. There we go. So that's Tutorial Island. We'll do docs and everything else in just a sec, so be right back.
Okie dokie. Three, two, one. And mash the menus. Yeah, seems like uh, one of the kiddos may have picked something up last night. Went to go to the mall to go to their play area that they were retiring. And, uh, yeah. Apparently somebody made one of my kiddos sick. But, should be all good here. Everyone's all nice and happy and hanging out watching some trolls. As you do. It feels like this This is basically a thing that happens every time. Like, to anyone that's, uh, that's a parent here, it's like... It feels like every single time, like, oh, the, the play area will be such a great idea. Let's, let's go there. They're going to have fun. Next day, everyone's vomiting. <laughs> it's like it's it's a basically a cesspool of disease in there, but we keep willingly going there because we're a species that smarts real good, I guess. I don't know, but oh well. Such is life. Such is life. So now, the absolute ideal for this part is, uh, like I was saying before, to get self-preservation. And uh, if all goes well, there is a very small chance to pick up Miracle as well. It's very risky if that happens, but if you ever manage to pick up Miracle off just off of a fluke, it's really one of those things where the odds are pretty low for, uh, for creating that situation and still surviving it. Like, honestly, the best way uh, to create that situation is to, uh, to do so in training, where you get somebody down to, like, 5 health, and then you have just like a fairy attack them or something where they can't really do any damage. But then they still manage to, to just evade it because the game automatically thinks if you're at below 10 health that you'll just automatically die from anything, even if they do one damage. So if you just keep doing that till they eventually dodge, then yeah, you can get it that way. Which, uh, I mean, I guess it's doable. But, anywho, we're moving on here. Off to Scabellum. Probably should save before this, to be totally honest. You know, then again, I can probably just do a suspend save, just for safety. And now, we'll just we'll just run forward with it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll save afterwards. Yeah, it feels like uh, whichever option you decide to go for here, it's about equivalent. I mean, if you go for the bottom one, that's fine. There's a little bit of menu lag in this game, so not super recommended. Right, we can stop mashing at this point, take that tile, and wait exactly right there. All right, good. Now, come on, Mullen. You know you want to come down. No, you want to run? Oh, that's that's even better. See, that's the thing. If she puts herself right there, then it takes her two turns to get out of it. She winds up completely surrounded, and this fight can end really quickly. And the nice thing is, if she's completely surrounded, that means that we can now move you forward and do one of these type dealies. Ah, that sucks. Come on, block it. That's fine. That's fine. If he gets that first attack off, then, like, that's the best setup. So it looks like Mont where Montblanc teaches you about engagements. It look I kind of think of it, yeah, that does kind of look a little bit like it. It's not as Middle Eastern, but, you know, whatever. But the ideal setup is kind of like this there, where he gets that first hit off, it takes 36 of his 120 health. Um, then Ivana runs up behind him, hopefully gets a crit, and then if she gets a crit, like, you can just run up. Or, actually, even if she doesn't get a crit, you just run up and hit the guy again. He's usually going to target lands after that. If you set him up in such a way where he will definitely counterattack, then that gives you a good 60% chance to be able to pick up the emblem right there. So, at this point, since Mullen has decided to take the lower route, uh, she should be getting targeted by both the guest characters. So I'm going to try to focus on getting self-preservation. Uh, there's nothing that Lance can really do for the time being as far as killing off Mullen. She's just too far away. You can eventually chase her down, but by that point, the other two will have taken her out anyway. So we might as well just go for the sweep here. Orson in particular really loves sniping towards her because he's got very high hit odds and he's going to do pretty much max damage against her. So that's always nice. Okay, 
go. It's not exactly the ideal setup, but it'll work. <laughs> Alright, come on, don't kill him. Very good. Didn't kill him. We might see that really low uh, low odds to happen Centurion thing happen, too. Like, with, with uh, only having one of the four characters and having the one with the worst mobility and attack, usually you're not going to be the one finishing everything off, but it has happened before. Like, it has happened that I've gotten Centurion here, so... Like, it's, again, not consistent enough to actually route it, but whatever. Dang it, Ivana, no one cares. Also, wait a minute, why did... You know what, I might have been wrong before. I think it might only be when she targets Ivana that the text box doesn't happen. Or if she does her first spell, possibly before um, before the other two arrive or something. Ivana, why? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, no, wait, no, that wasn't the guy that needed to be killed off. That was uh, the guy in front. So, no, th never mind. That's not beautiful at all. It's rather ugly and tastes like licorice, which just tastes like roast. Might not be a fan of licorice. <laughs> Alright. Is this likely to happen? Hell no. Really? Thanks for that 93% miss, game. Yeah, he just picked up Miracle. <laughs> what the hell? Man, the RNG is just plain pissy today. Wow! Okay, and they're going to give self-reservation to Ivana? Awesome. Ah, boy. Game, what are you doing? Now, they're probably targeting her because she technically takes a little bit more potential damage because her strength is, I believe, lower than Lance's at this point. Um, if you end up getting your uh, your strength bonus at the very start, you can't accomplish that. Um, I believe if we can get him up to level 3, he should be able to get uh, get Knight as well. Yeah, it, it, hmm. That's the question at this point. Do we just go for the Mullen kill, I guess? We might be just going for Mullen here. Yeah, she's going to go for a heal. That's going to drag them off to friggin' Timbuktu over there. He's probably going to go for the kill on that guy. Yeah. Or the other guy? What, what are you doing? And this may seem like a weird time to be doing this, by the way, because you might be thinking, hey, you know, you can just go friggin' land one punch on the, on, the, uh, uh, on the leader there and you should be all good to go. But if we get Centurion in here, the, second, the third fight will be so much faster. Okay, 99%. Thank you. Finally. That only took a billion years. Okay, so we're finally at level 2. Like, 3 is the best you can hope for. 3, Centurion, and Self-Preservation is, like, the top possible situation here. If you were able to change classes before this, uh, there would potentially be a way to... Uh, hey, don't mess with that. Well, now you shut her off. Why'd you do that? Can you hit the button again? Okay. Here you go. What do you say? You're welcome. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, if you'd be able to actually access the equip menu before this, the perfectly ideal thing would be to take his weapons off and then change him into a ninja if it were possible to actually get the requirements by that point which would allow you to get the dragon shield which would potentially make some other stuff better dang it richter you ruined everything all right whatever let's just go for mullen <laughs> this is this has gone completely off the rails again let's just go this way like i said this this setup takes some rng unfortunately but if it works, it's really, really handy. Like, to give you an idea, again, his starting strength is 30. Centurion gives you 20. And then with that with that starting emblem, you're effectively doubling his attack power, which is already higher than everybody else, plus already doubling it again because the, um, 
okay, so the end game standard there, the claymore, uh, which is the equivalent of the fist weapon, or of the um, uh, the fist fight emblem, like that is already another about twenty down, uh, another uh, doubling in damage. So you're essentially getting four times damage for uh, for the purpose of a few uh, few early uh, time sinks, which is pretty awesome. Except yeah, it it takes some doing in the speed run. Don't you heal? Right, Orson. Orson, I'm gonna need you to stop going after her. Thank you. She's probably gonna take the last shot in the fight here. No, she's gonna block it because of course she is. Uh, all right. All we need is one hit. So if she somehow survives the next round, then uh, actually she should be perfectly ideal for getting finished off next round. He's at two anyway, so we got the level up we needed. Like, it would be ideal to get another one, but oh well. Such is life. Such is life. The uh, the glass pumpkin I was talking about earlier uh, should also give a pretty good idea as far as how numbers go. So typically, like, as far as your defenses go, if you're running a normal soldier guy on lands, you're going to have about 90 defense. Uh, if you're running a uh, if you're running a knight, you'd have about 100. If you're running a ninja, which is the typical strategy, you're going to have about 60 which means that he can't take any hints, hits. However, if you leave him as a soldier, give him a glass pumpkin, you're all the way up to 140, uh, up to 160 if, uh, if you go knight. So this essentially renders him almost immune to damage, so you can just counterattack entire maps. So for all of the kill-all maps, you can just sit there and tank. You don't have to waste any time healing. You, don't, like, you can spend maybe every third turn healing. After a little while, his agility gets high enough to the point where it's just not even a worry. Like, it's, it's real good. It's real, real good. Alright, that's... Alright, we got the boss kill. Do, 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 do. Watch this 99% miss. Now it's cutscene time. <laughs> Plus, I got a uh, Stone of Swiftness out of it. Which may not seem like much, um, considering you can just get the Sniper Emblem. I couldn't find any good spot to actually route in the Sniper Emblem. So that gives you plus 10 to agility. Uh, you'd need 10 stones for that, which is a really extensive amount of time. Funnily enough, actually getting the Sniper Emblem takes less time than using the uh, the items themselves to boost it up. But if you've got nothing else going on that turn, you might as well. No, you're dumping everything on one character anyway. So why not? <laughs> Alright. Come on, please tell me we got the early fairy. We did. Okay, got the early fairy. Now we buy the bandana. We do buy the bandana. Buy seven leaves. And then we're done here. And again, just ignore that it says War God there. We're going to be getting that in Formido. Getting self-reservation here. Once again, we're going to be moving Alphonse up here. I'm going to be picking up the pumpkin, and then I'm going to be probably taking a few safety saves once the fights actually start. Because uh, you can technically suspend and restart whenever you want to. I guess pick up the glass pumpkin. Go ahead and use this. The nice part is, uh, despite the fact that it gives you extra stats, it also gives you some free experience regardless of your level. So you get an automatic 10 experience. I believe that it can uh, have a range up to 13. Glass pumpkin for that extra 40 defense. Or 50. Like, that's the thing with glass pumpkins. In, an, in a casual run, you'd probably never use them because they're just, like, they're, they're a giant, bulky defense item. They make you almost unable to move, but if the entire map is coming to attack you at once, might as well. Of 
Why'd you turn it off? You don't push that button. It doesn't make more trolls happen. It just turns it off. Yeah, we don't push that button. Alright, now she tells us about recruiting. Which, we'll be doing later. For the time being, though, we're not. Alright. Before anything else, let's go ahead and suspend. Don't. Don't touch it. If you push that button, the trolls go away. I seriously need to start putting tape over the power buttons of absolutely every piece of electronic equipment in here. So yeah, my uh, daughter's kind of figured out how to pretty much operate almost anything with, uh, with a signal running through it. <laughs> like the fact that she's... Like, she's not... She's just over two now. And no, like understands how to use a, a PS4's menu, and it took my wife and I a little bit of time to actually adapt to that. It's like, man, we grew up around this. And she just knows. She's just like, yep, I see those menus, I understand how they work. I'm like, dang. Really? How? How do you know everything? How are you so smart? She's super smart, that's how. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I've got basically map-wide aggro right now. So she needs to take those guys. This is why I want to separate them using this tree. It screws up a lot of their movement, so they don't exactly want to attack them anymore. Just making sure on my items, we put them right there. Um, ideally, I probably should have moved him one tile up, which would allow him to get attacked from two different angles. Um, the worst thing is to get potentially trapped on either side behind that tree. Uh, but if you're one tile away, you can kind of control it a little bit. But the idea being is that a uh, guy in the back should be able to run up from behind, but then he'll get stuck there. Which should hopefully leave one tile open for actually moving out of there. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and yeah, the two things that we should be able to get here are Book of Initiation. There we go, that's two out of three for Book of Initiation as well as one big hefty hit, Self-Preservation, Centurion, and Mark of the Elite, which should put him at level 5, uh, with a 30 bonus to strength, as well as a, um, a boost to counterattack damage, as well as... Uh, what's it? As well as an extra level, so again, level 5. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, that whole War God thing... Um, actually, Berserk, that's one I'm thinking of. Um, the thing with Berserk, it seems like a weird emblem when you first look at it. Because its whole thing is it's, it says it extends the range of certain, um, of, like, certain morale events, basically. So, whenever you take a plus one or minus one to your morale, again, that can go up, up or down to plus one, or to plus two, or, uh, in either direction, plus two or minus two. If that guy would have missed, we would have had Book of Initiation... We don't necessarily need it. Uh, hopefully we won't need the Sniper Emblem, because it's kind of annoying to route in, but we'll see. Um, Alright, come on. Please hit this counter. Okay, good. Got the dodge. Got it. Okay, got self-preservation. So at this point, I can just run him out into the middle of everybody. And he should be able to take all their damage. Uh, I want them to completely pile on Ivana here. Uh, if she takes two two turns of attacks like this, she'll get worn down to the point that she'll just run away, basically. Um, if she gets killed during this fight, she doesn't die. It's perfectly fine. So actually what I'm probably going to do is instead of running down to go there, I'm going to go start attacking that archer up top. Or the uh, the soldier archer lady. Rude. Also, I really like that um, Centurion uh, actually has the mark for um, for Destin. It has his headband. <laughs> like, there's so many nice little references uh, throughout all this. Like, especially to OB64. There we go. Get that extra damage. Thing is, the archers will continue to harass you the entire time. So if you end up taking a bunch of unfortunate hits, such is life. Now, taking two dodges now, hopefully Archer will back up, uh, take another shot, and miss. Um, we don't really have any means to... Okay, good. 
I want her taking damage right now. Because ideally I want her out of the fight. Like, the absolute best case scenario is she gets knocked out, she weakens them a whole bunch, and then I move him right back to where he was before, which will allow them, which will put two of them into, dang it, I need you to dodge that one, uh, which will put two of them into position to attack him, a third one will have to circle around, that'll allow him to get two really good counterattacks off. Don't get any kills here, Ivana. I need to remember to save after this, just because this setup has been really solid. Again, this does take a little bit longer than the uh, the standard route, or than the um, the other, uh, the current world record route. Like the best I've gotten coming out of this fight is 29 minutes. Ivana, what are you doing? That's my spot. You can't take my spot. <laughs> Rude. All right. Go ahead and suspend it real quick. And I'm actually going to go here so that she continues getting attacked. It should also drag them a little bit closer. Come on, hit that. There we go. Next turn, should be able to take that one out. Uh, then I should be able to engage the other ones while popping a healing seed. And we'll go from there. So yeah, 29 minutes coming out of this is the best I've seen. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't need to be mentioned, but just in case there was any curiosity, there's actually no difference uh, when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to uh, between uh, blocking and uh, and just dodging. Like mechanically, as far as the emblems go, there's not really any difference there. I just felt I should bring it up. Like the, the only time that it actually does anything is uh, just kind of depending on what attacks are attacking, pretty much. Alright, good. She goes for the heal. That puts her... That puts her into position to get finished off, I hope. Uh, she should have low enough health now. I'm not going to bother checking. She should have low enough where she she gets piled. She's done for. We can take out this one. Hopefully none of them have... They should, if I've been counting this right, have low enough health to the point where they may get knocked into critical by a counter. They'll probably start off by the back. Yeah, there we go. Then one will attack from the side. I don't think uh, Horn Boy has taken very many hits there. Um, the other nice bonus coming out of this is that you get a sword emblem uh, doing this route. So you can start off with a few extra things. Please don't finish him. Good. Good, good, good. I'm. If this doesn't take her out of the fight, I may actually have to go and knock her out myself. <laughs> And, you know, I was wondering, like, I wonder if the Cressida in Let Us Cling Together is meant to be a reference to this Cressida, because there's a whole bunch of other references there. Alright, hopefully we should be fine, though. Hopefully. Alright, he's at 62, she should try to heal him. Uh, he should be able to take out this guy and survive the other hits. Punch. Those beefy punches, though. Like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he should be able to actually take all the hits, though. I'm assuming he'll be able to just beat them. Uh, she should heal regardless. Actually, I'm perfectly fine with her taking that swipe there. Or not. Whatever. Whatever, RNG. Just completely make me eat every single word I put out there. Don't worry, it's fine. It's not hurt my feelings or anything. Pretty much, like, one of my favorite games of all time, and I can't really... can't really call a single thing about it, it would seem. Alright. Go for the heal. Good. That's fine. Uh, he, I believe he should be able to, t to survive one more round. Uh, I need to see his health numbers here. No, it's too risky. He 
In fact, we are going to save that seed. Um, overall, damage-wise, this has gone a lot better than it usually does, so we're going to put it right there. Bear in mind that after the first hour, everything else just glides like butter. It's, it's just this first setup that takes forever. Like, I believe it's about... I think 32 minutes by this point uh, for um, uh, for the uh, the world record run. So we're definitely taking a short a, uh, a slower initial start. I know I've mentioned that over and over, but I just feel like it's worth mentioning again. All right, please, Ivana, don't try to finish off anyone. Really would 